Who should you be around? People who push you and people who believe in you. So I want to talk to you guys about timing for a minute, but I want to explain to you, like, you know, this young lady's made $60,000 in, you know, two months, and she's training, and she's treating her customers great, and she's focused, and she's learning. Guys, for any GMs and managers, like, you've got salespeople that have been with you for 15 years. They're killing your company. They're killing you. They're killing you. They don't care. You know, new people want to win. It doesn't matter. Here, here's how I work. I'm a loyal guy. I have trust. But you know who's going to get up to bat first? Whoever can hit the ball over the fence. Okay? Look, you know what? Loyalty is the most skewed thing in the world right now. People are like, well, I've been with you for 10 years. Does that mean you get to take advantage of me and I don't get to have a great company? Does that mean I don't get to grow? Like, what does that mean? Like, tell me what that means for me. Okay? Because I thought the whole time we were growing together. If you're not doing your training every day, if you're not pushing yourself every day, then obviously as I'm trying to grow, you've stopped and that's unloyal. Okay? Don't let people pin you. All right? People change. Times change. Things change. Okay? Some people are meant to be with your entire life and I wish that all of you guys never have an employee leave. But I'm going to tell you this. Just like this little young lady right here, okay? She's 24, is that right? She's 24 years old and she's made 60 grand in two months. You've never made 60 grand in a year, have you? Yeah. Guys, is sales life changing? Yeah. Let's go. Because of that right there, guys, because of that right there, some of you have been selling for two years, three years, five years. Like, man, I haven't even made 30 grand a month yet. You know why? She wants it more than you, she's hungry. AJ. Hey, listen, but you know what? That's made you hungrier, am I right? He's like, dude, don't be doing that shit at work, okay? Hey, but guess what? Here's what I want to tell you guys, and listen, we're going to get to the training. Is everybody understanding, though, that the potential is unlimited, okay? A lot of you, you're the problem on why you're not going to the next level. A lot of you, are these the kind of rooms that we grow in? Yeah, yeah, but you, but you, but you, don't, you can't make the time to come to these rooms. You can't make the time. Okay, that's the problem. Like, you're too busy. Dude, you're not making the sacrifice. Look, who should you be around? People who push you and people who believe in you. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I just released my social media total domination playbook. Now, I want to ask you a question, right? Does everybody know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do, and where you're at? If not, I'm going to show you how to make that happen. This is world domination. I'm going to show you how to destroy it. If you're a sales pro and you're in the automotive space, this book right here is going to show you how to destroy your competition. I'm going to give this to you for free. I currently train over 300,000 salespeople and I have over 4,000 dealers on my training platform. There's another level. I'm going to take you there. Guys, click the link below. I'm going to give you this for free. Let's kick ass. Let's destroy your competition. Okay? And I'm going to tell you something. Look, I'm going to walk over here real quick, but we're going to go back to this. But we got, uh, we got, here, go ahead and stand up right here, this nice young lady. Go ahead and stand up. Guys, let me show you something. Hold on. Let me show you something. Here, let, let's get him up on a chair, Tyler. I want to show you something cool. And maybe you guys, some of you will miss this because you're like, just get to the training. Now you're missing the whole point. Where are you at today and where do you want to go? You see this little young stud right here? Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, buddy. Do you love your daddy? Yeah. Do you know that Tyler was making about 100 grand a year? Am I right? And he was a manager and he was miserable. And he almost quit. And he reached out to me. And I told him, I said, hey, get your ass over here. We're going to reset. And last year, Tyler had a year to date of $49,000 okay, in May. And Tyler finished with $265,000 after coming to training. Am I right? OK. She's never came out with him. But she supports him. How much does he come out here and train? She's like, do we really need to do it again? And, 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 and what Tyler, so you'll understand this, and she's starting to get this. And by the way, he's on track to make 400 grand this year. Okay. It, verticals, verticals. This young man right here, guess what? He's got this little stud right here, which is his son. He's got his amazing wife. 
She came out here with him. She didn't want to come here. But guess what? We're the people that he's around that pushes him to do better because there's a lot of people that don't want him to do better. So what we do is that we bring the best out in him, okay? We made him come run a marathon with us. Am I right? And he don't run. But he did it, didn't he? You know why? Because he had to prove that he could do it. Okay, and he had three weeks to train for it, and he came out here and did it. You guys are coming back out in two weeks again to train again. She's like, dude, how much money are we spending in training? You know what? How much money has he made? Let's talk about it. What's the investment, guys? Okay? You're the investment. Listen to me. Your time, your money. Look at this young man. This kid, listen to me. You grew up in trailers. Am I right? Okay? You guys got a beautiful house, don't you? It's all a choice. He's changing generational influence, right? He's not a perfect man, but he's changing, isn't he? Would you agree? He's changing. Dude, how many of you guys does your family need you to change? Look, are you, are you the one? Are you the one? Is it going to be you? Or does it need to be somebody else? Does it need to be your brother, your sister, your mom, or your dad? Does it need to be someone else in your family? Or, or can you do it? What? Because, say, say, I'm the one. I'm the one. That's my boy. Woo! All right. All right, guys. <laughs>